what is going on everybody i am back with a new video and i've just been relaxing lately i've just been clearing my head you know a lot's been going on in the world but uh lately i've also been watching the witcher i have been putting it off for the last two years i really wanted to see it but it's one of those things where like I'm just going to do it later, do it later, procrastinating, finally watched it, loved it. I know there's another season coming up, so pretty amazing. I'm really happy that I finally watched it. So you might be wondering why these two panels are on uh, my normally red carpet for when I do my reviews is because these figures that I picked up have a lot of red in them so I don't want them to get washed out by the red carpet uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be opening up these figures and uh, not in this video but eventually I'm going to do a custom and make a witcher figure I could probably do some of that right now after I open uh, these figures up. But uh, yeah, let's open them up and uh, see what I can do with them. So I picked up two packs of mini mates. These are Walgreens exclusives, as you can tell. Uh, if you're not familiar with mini mates, they are basically premium Lego figures. Um, I got involved, or I, I just learned about mini mates figures from, I would say, the early 2000s. So these have been around for almost 20 years. Uh, they were initially build a figures or like they were building block figures. Um, I remember my first mini mates were like the, uh, the DC, um, comics line. Uh, there was a, like a JLA, um, a justice league table that I declined to pick up. Uh, I'm still kicking myself because I could have found, I could, you know, because I've cried a thousand times, I'm going to cry some more. Could have could have bought that and uh you know like the mini mates are like they're they're still pretty like underground i would say like there's a niche community of people who are like crazy about these figures i would be involved in that community or not involved but in that community love uh you either really love these figures or you have no idea like you don't want to know what to make of them um, uh, they're pretty difficult to find, like, unless you go to the comic book stores. Um, sometimes they're even difficult to find in the comic book stores, but, like, they, Walgreens pick them up as, like, their exclusives. Um, I used to pick them up at Tar, uh, not Target, but Toys R Us, which hopefully will make a comeback in the U.S. Um, this year, I've, if you've heard the news. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath, but yeah, they're like, these are the figures on the back. I think I have this whole set. I, I already, I might already have these figures, but I'm going to use them to make a Witcher figure. And I could just, I could start right now, actually. So let's open them up. Uh, what's really cool about them too, is like, they all have the same bases. Uh, the designs on them are from mostly paint applications i mean it's just like it's very highly detailed like saying that they're like lego minifigures is sort of an insult to them because uh they have transcended that i would say i mean they they've they were inspired by legos um but now i think they've surpassed them as far as like 
action figures or like mini figures, right? Like, uh, and if you're not familiar with these types of, uh, these type of toys, uh, you'll see in just a moment. Let me uh, pull out the tray. And it comes with like premium. And I'm, I know I'm throwing that, that word around a lot for this video, but they just come with like really cool accessories. Uh, and they're good to, they're good to mix and match. I mean, they're, that's one of the features that they've uh, put on the box as well. Mix and match parts. So they're just asking for... They're just asking for you to DIY. And that's what I love about them is like, once you get tired of looking at these figures, then you can mix and match and make your own characters, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, you can see all the red on Dracula. And look at that, you get premium accessories. It's really cool. As you can tell, I am probably going to use uh, this chainmail that Dracula has and the hair piece um, that he has for the Witcher. I'm probably going to paint it all black. Uh, hopefully get him as close as possible to that. But I do have a couple of options. Uh, as far as, you know, like, uh, trying to create the Witcher. So I'm going to put them there. Let's take out these two. Uh, this is the collector. Uh, I didn't really go into, like, the detail of who they are. Just because I am going to DIY them in the future. But we can start here. Like, uh, one of the really cool things is that they come with a tons of accessories. They come with stands. I don't know if you can see that, but that's clear stands. And it's just as easy as just like snapping them on and you know uh, pulling them out of their their pegs. Now he Dracula comes with a sword, which is really cool, and then this. Crimson Widow comes with like a baton type of like a like a bow staff type of a type of an accessory. But let's see what we can use here, right? So all that great detail on there. Um, I'm probably going to use that and paint it black and then, uh, the collector, I really like, if you can see that, the expression on his face. I'm not going to utilize his face for this, but let's start off. Let's take off the air piece, which was really easy. Take off the head, right? I know the Witcher has like a five o'clock shadow, uh, but he's not smiling like this figure. Here's one of the difficult things about um, customizing these mini mates is that once you pull off the head, like they're just really, the hair pieces get stuck, right? So sometimes uh, they'll call, this will call for a small screwdriver that you could wedge it off or you just place it back on and just jiggle you can just try to jiggle this off it's pretty stuck on there unfortunately let's see if I can pull it off that's pretty stuck on there there you go look at that sweet Persistence, persistence pays. All right, let's take that off. I haven't seen the Witcher smile too much on the show, but 
let's see there. Put that on. And that kind of looks weird. Uh, I know that uh, the Witcher he has like, it's not white white, it's like an eggshell white. And it's a little dirty. It's sort of like a dirty blonde. Uh, so this is going to have to, I'm going to have to paint that. But I do like the cape. I think the cape is really cool. The only the unfortunate thing is this is molded on. Um, but I do have the option of also utilizing that piece to uh, for this custom. But then I also have a lot of other mini mates that I can use. But anyways, uh, this video is longer than I've bargained for. But yeah, this is just a quick um, gateway into what I'm going to do to create my Witcher custom figure. And I'm going to be using Mini Mates. Stay tuned. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will have more reviews for you all in, in the future. Thanks for watching. Um, here is the progress of my... Witcher figure, my custom Witcher figure to come in the future. I uh, will definitely not be using that head, but I will be using that body. I'll be painting, I'll be painting this, and probably the cape and the hair. I got, I got a lot of work to do, but um, yeah, let's, uh, that's uh, what he looks like right now.